Just before our mayor uh, welcomes us, uh, let me just say a word of, um, of uh, congratulations to all persons who have given of their time, their talents, their gifts, and their service. Of course, I want to thank our mayor, Mayor Benjamin. I want to thank Parks and Ricks. I want to thank our mayor pro tem for being here today, other members of our council who are here. Thank you so much. Uh, our city manager could not be here today. Of course, she wanted to be here, uh, but there's a death in Lancaster. Dr. Rucker, uh, he died, and of course, she's participating and attending that funeral. We're also happy to have with us Councilwoman Yvonne McBride. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us. Let's have a good time today. How about that? Yes, sir. Yes. Let's have a good time today. Yes. A beautiful feel, a beautiful environment, yes. and guess what? We aren't through yet. No. And that's the most important thing. Three years ago, three years ago, as I stood on this ground with members of this neighborhood and this uh, community, there was an awesome cry from members of the neighborhood, we need some for our children. We need some for our children. And of course, this is the result of this taking place. You ought to give yourselves a big hand. So a field of dreams mm -hmm. has turned into not only a field of promises, but a field of possibilities. Because as my grandmama used to say, we ain't through yet. All right. So thank you all for being here. Thank you, Councilman McDowell. I'm gonna um, say a, a brief word now in lieu of my remarks uh, later in the program. It's a wonderful uh, pleasure to be here with so many of our leaders. The way you keep a program like this short is you put all the speakers in the sun, y'all. All right, and that, that, that means we'll keep our comments nice and brief, ni nice and brief. You see, it's all fanning up here. Um, you know, we're just thankful. Uh, we're, we're, we're thankful uh, for uh, leaders like Councilman McDowell and Bishop Mack and Reverend Graham and, and Councilman McBride and, and, and certainly my friend Tamika Eyes Divine and I'm sure Senator Scott, who's an amazing uh, senator, uh, uh, for their leadership. We're truly thankful for these men and brothers and, and the sister over here. Uh, constant, steady, passionate leadership, neighborhood leadership, that community leadership that um, you only see in special places and special uh, people. Uh, dedicated uh, every which way to pull together any and every resource on behalf of these babies. Uh, is um, it's, it's amazing, um, brothers and sisters, coach. Um, Sanders, Coach, I mean, Regina, just thank y'all for all that you do, all that you've done, your passion, your leadership, uh, your consistent leadership has led to the manifestation of, of this dream right here uh, for, for our, our, our children that's going to benefit this, uh, this entire community. Uh, thank you to each and every one of you. May God continue to bless you. Let's remember to make sure that we exhibit to these children every single day um, the importance of showing what love looks like. The love looks like we're here, young people. Uh, some of you don't like to don't like to hear it. Some of you don't don't care for the hugs and the, and the kisses. Um, but we're here because we love y'all. We love y'all. We want to make sure that you have every single opportunity to live up to your God-given potential. We expect you to do great things, great things. But we know that you can't raise yourselves. It requires each and every one of us stepping up to make sure that happens. God bless you and thank you so much uh, for being here. Thank you. Let us bow our heads in prayer. We certainly praise God for this wonderful, awesome opportunity that we have today uh, for the opening of All Star Field. Let us pray. Father God, we come once again in the mighty name of thy son, Jesus. We thank you right now for a dream come true. We thank you, Lord, for a vision becoming a reality. We thank you, Lord, for this great opportunity to see community leaders and and uh, leaders of our uh, city to come together and open up this great all-star field. We thank you for the partnership of Councilman McDowell and City Council, the partnership of Mayor Steve Benjamin, 
the partnership of Senators John Scott, Councilman McBride, Bishop Mack, Sister Regina Williams, our president of our neighborhood, the, the partnership of James Sanders, our community organizer. We thank you, O oh God, for the partnership of the parents and all those who represent Parks and Rec, Brother Randy Davis. We pray, O oh God, that you would bless this day and bless beyond this day, O oh God. Lord, we thank you right now for the children of the, these communities, yes. North Park, Bayberry, yes. Bethel Bishop, Colony Apartment, Booker Washington Heights community. We thank you, Lord, that this field will serve as a place of refuge, a place of impact, influence, a place that will mold, make, and shape our children into good team players, good citizens, good soldiers doing your will in your way. So bless now this grand opening of this all-star field, and we'll forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. I have not heard from John, of course. Uh, it was extended that invitation to come. But just let me say a word referencing uh, Senator John Scott. About two years ago, of course, uh, after having a conversation with the neighborhood, it was my privilege to be in touch with John Scott to say exactly what we wanted to do here. And of course, he was very willing and very gracious in saying, what do you want to do, Ed? I said, well, we need, we need some for our children. And of course, that began the ball to roll. Senator Scott was responsible for securing over $300,000, I think. Isn't that right, Randy? Randy's gone? $300,000 for the building of this field. And I just want to say a personal thanks to him. Without him, without his leadership, and of course, without conversation with him, we were able to do exactly what we've done here today. So in his absence, would you please give him a round of applause? As I came up earlier, I did um, uh, forget to specifically mention a few folks. And I really want to thank, I want to thank Carrie Rich, uh, Randy Davis, uh, the entire team, Kenya, the entire team at Parks and Rec. I mean, this has been a labor of love uh, over over several years, Henry's just getting on board. He's getting to know the whole the whole team. But this has been a whole lot of folks uh, trying to direct some things, but keeping the relationship in in intact with 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 the neighborhood and just continue continuing to drive this first leg of the, of the vision. Yeah. Some of you have seen the entire vision going all the way up uh, to Beltline Boulevard for what we expect will be a one of a kind uh, facility here on on, on in this. Actually, I think in, in this part of the state, if not the entire state, this is the first leg. But I did want to thank um, just our incredible folks at Parks and Rec for for their for their work. We certainly appreciate the opportunity to come and to speak. Just wanted to say that it's it's critically important that we remain positive yes. to be able to do the things that we need to do in this community. This is just a start, but the infrastructure and foundational function starts with your community meetings each month. And I've been a part of those meetings and haven't seen some, and we'd like to see more because we discuss these things. Also, we had coat drives, we fed, working with James. He calls me every time there's a function happening in this community, and I am there. Yeah. But we're not tooting our horns. We're here to celebrate the accomplishments of these great city leaders, these the park and rec leaders, uh, the leaders of our churches. It's a combination of great leadership that brought this to be. And so I want to thank them for their hard work and their consideration and their passion for the mission. And that's what's most important. We are locking arms because we want to see this community succeed in a great way. And that's what I want. And we have been a part of that when nobody's looking. We have been in meetings, Regina and I, when nobody's looking. We've gotten indignant with folk that we didn't agree with, but nobody is looking. Uh -huh. We made a stance. Yeah. And so that's not recorded, but I heard Job said, 
My record is on high. Okay? So we want to celebrate this community. Clap your hands, everyone, and celebrate it this time. The joke that Mayor Benjamin says is sometimes he talks to me more than he talks to Mrs. Benjamin, his mother. But we've known each other since we were in college. So um, I'm thankful for our relationship. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the historic Booker Washington Heights neighborhood. Some of you don't know why I add historic, because in 1920, the city of Columbia sued Booker Washington Heights because we had our own mayor, we had our own council. Thanks to the hard work of Dr. Bobby Donaldson, all of this is now recorded and will be shared with the general public very soon in connection with a homecoming in our neighborhood. Uh, we stand on the positive side of change. This field of dreams, as it was originally dubbed, is a field of dreams for real. I'd like to see, introduce, like for him to raise his hand, Cecilius Bailey. I taught him at Hayward Gibbs Middle School. Stand up, stand up, Cece. Cece is a sophomore all-star, state all-star baseball player for the state of South Carolina. This is who this field is for and those who will come behind him. We'd like to thank everybody too numerous to mention. Um, as Councilman McDowell said, we are not finished. Next is our satellite Richland County Library, Councilwoman McBride. <laughs> then our neighborhood gym where we will grow basketball players, volleyball players. We're looking for a connector to cross Beltline to join the two communities. Yes, we are not finished. As we move forward, we pray that we are very careful though, not to let our passion overshadow our purpose. We want to collaboratively connect with all of the communities, North Point, Miss Charlotte, the Colony, and we're also starting a collaboration with Serve and Connect and Miss Cassie Alia. I am so excited. We are so excited. We love our City of Columbia police officers. We love our, our Sheriff's Department. We have collaborations with all of them. So what you see here today is not just one person, not just one group, it is love. We thank you for being here today and we look forward to seeing you at our games and everything else that is yet to come. Have a great day. Thank you. Well, it's a, a lot has been said and we appreciate the Paul and <laughs> thanks for everybody that's coming, that came today. And we're looking for a lot more. Yes. We, not only do we need a recreation center and libraries, we need grocery stores. We need jobs for our young pit children to go to work at. And, you know, our children are not bad. They just don't have the opportunities that they need in our neighborhood to keep them calm. We, they have to figure out things to do without leadership, and that gets them in trouble as it got me in trouble as I was a child. So we're happy for the park, thankful for everybody that's been working a part of it. And without Paul and Mark Ginyard and five other coaches that are coaching now, the train wouldn't move. They are the fuel of this train. Hmm? We got Paul and Mark. These are the guys that's in the trenches. Uh, come on up, Chuck. Yeah. These are the guys that's doing the work. Because when you're dealing with children, not only are you the coach, you the uncle, you the father, you the support, you, the, you, uh, you support them financially in different, different situations. 
So these are the guys that need to, um, to be celebrated. And when we get our park, I hope that these are the guys that's running it because they know everybody here. They can call a grandmama, call a mama, call a father. They are parents and know all the parents that's here. And we really appreciate them for what they do. And I've been, I love you, Steve. We done fought a lot. <laughs> and, we appreciate you. but we're going to make some arrangements to get what we need. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Sanders. And thank you uh, to the coaches as well. Uh, we spent a lot of time together and um, did great work on behalf of our children. Uh, closing comments uh, from our friend and our incredible leader who's become just, I, I call him the, conscience, the conscience of city council. Uh, the, the meetings that we have in public are, are one thing. The meetings that we have in private, as, as Ms. Devine will tell you, are um, you see the same man, uh, but, but, he, but he's leading from the front and from the back uh, in, a, in a way in which I've never seen uh, before. We're thankful for the leadership of Councilman Ed McDowell. Yeah. Councilman? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Well, we made it. Yes. And for everyone who has, who decided to come today, I simply want to say thank you. The other thing that I do want to mention, I do want to mention that uh, CPD is here, our fire department is here, many thanks to you, and particularly to our baseball players. Would you stand for just a moment? All of our baseball players. All of our baseball players, would you stand? Look, we understand that the season hadn't started here yet, but we've got some moving and shoving to do, and we're going to get it started. Look, it was these gentlemen here three years ago when we didn't have a football field. It was these gentlemen, James, Paul, Marcus, it was them who said, we need some for our children. So the city chipped in, bought equipment uh, with the city and of course with uh, Sheriff's Lot's, Lot's office. We played football on a ragged field. <laughs> but guess what? It's easily converted now into a football field and it's easily converted into real hopeful possibilities. You see the nine acres of land that's there? Wait and see. <laughs> Just wait and see. The Lord ain't through with us yet. And we aren't through with this community. Our mayor, our mayor pro tem, our city leadership, our staff, our county representatives, and of course, my friends and my brothers and sisters in Booker Washington Association. We couldn't do it without you. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia.